Okay. Um, in this problem, we're given this is you may, something you maybe haven't seen before, but we're given this uh, kind of a formula for a line here, where it's like an ordered pair, but instead of a, a numbers for coordinates, we have these two little formulas. And this is the same thing as we've seen before, except we saw the two formulas written out as x equals and y equals. So this is the x coordinate, and that's the y coordinate. And over here, x coordinate and y coordinate, right? <clears throat> so we're just writing, instead of writing the two formulas as x equals something and y equals something, we're just writing the formula in the place of the x coordinate and the, form, the other formula in the place of the y coordinate. So this one's, that's how that one works. And over here, it's the same thing, um, except instead of the variable t, for and we often thought of t as time, um, here we're using the variable u, but it's just a different letter, that's all. all right? Just to differentiate it from this one over here, that's all. Um, so here, again, we've got a little formula in the place of the x-coordinate, and a little formula in place of the y-coordinate, and that's the same as we dealt with before, except before we had like x equals the formula and y equals the formula. So in these two, in this question here, we're told that these two lines that these parametric equations generate are perpendicular, so they meet at right angles. Um, and we're asked to explain or justify that somehow. Um, so what I would recommend you do is start out by just, you know, make yourself a couple of tables. Uh, we're also asked, by the way, where the points intersect, and you're going to figure that out right away. Um, but make yourself a couple of tables, you know, fill them out, x and y coordinates, plot the points, connect them and make lines, and then take a look at them. Do they look perpendicular? No. And a couple things for you to remember. We've talked in the past about how the coefficients of, of t for our x and y coordinates connect to our slope. And the coefficients for, for these will also connect to their slope. So the slope of this line is kind of tied up in these coefficients, and the slope of this line is tied up in these coefficients over here. Um, and the idea would be, well, why is that exactly? So we can explain that. And also remember, that when we have uh, perpendicular lines, their slopes are negative reciprocals. Now, negative reciprocals means that they multiply together to make a negative one, product of a negative one. But we more commonly think of them as fractions that are flipped, up, flipped upside down, like upside down opposites of each other. So for example, um, five over four has a negative reciprocal of negative four over five. Uh, or on the other hand, negative 2 over 9 has a negative reciprocal of positive 9 over 2. Um, or even, for example, 2, we can think of it as 2 over 1, and it has a negative reciprocal of negative 1 over 2. And you can see if I multiply these together, I get negative 2 over 2, which is negative 1. Or I get negative 18 over 18, which is negative 1. Or I get negative 20 over 20 up here, which is negative 1. Okay. So again, make tables, plot points, draw the lines. Think about how do the coefficients relate to the slope of the lines. Okay. Uh, what are the slopes of the lines? And remember, perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals.